in this video you will learn what is the adapter design pattern so let's begin Before I start my today's session, I would like to tell that I have made around 100 plus videos on the Oracle SQL. And if you want to learn Oracle SQL in detail, then please don't forget to check out my description box in that I have given link for the same. Also, I have made several videos on the design pattern, just like the factory design pattern, singleton design pattern, mix factory plus singleton design pattern, builder design pattern, and so many design patterns I have covered in the my YouTube channel. Okay, so please don't forget to check out my description box. So guys, let's begin with the today's session. So guys, what is adapter design pattern? Adapter design pattern is nothing but it's a bridge between two incompatible components and components can be uh, your <laughs> interface, class or any piece of code. So that is nothing but your adapter design pattern. Now let's understand this with the help of one example. So let's say for example, if you have one component called as a component one and one component called as a component two and if you want to make both the component to compatible to each other, then what do you need to do? You need to introduce one adapter class or one adapter component, which will adapt one input from the component one and it will give to the component two or vice versa. So that is nothing but your adapter design pattern. Now, when to use the adapter design pattern? Of course, when two components are incompatible to each other and we want to make compatible both the component to each other, then at that time we use the adapter design pattern. Also, I have one more scenario in which you can use the adapter design pattern, which is nothing but your when you know that, okay, whatever the X, Y, Z piece of code or X, Y, Z piece of component is going to change in future at the time. Also, you can use the adapter design pattern. How? Let's understand this with the help of one example. Let's say, for example, if you have one interface called as a XML parser and in that interface, you have two functions called as a parse and parsing function. And from this interface, I have one concrete class, as you can see on the your screen. Okay. Now, this class is interacting directly to my client code. So over here, now, right now, things will be done and no problem right now. But in future, let's say, for example, this my simple uh, parsing class is going to replace with a better parsing class. Then what happened? The thing is that your client code will be get impacted and whatever the coding I have done at the client side that will get rest. Okay. Now, new better parser class is come into the picture. So my better parser class is not compatible to my client code. So over here, what is the problem? Both the component cannot work together. So what I need to do over here, I need to use the adapter class. So what it will do, it will take the input from the my parsing class and it will fit to my main function or client code. So this is what adapter design pattern solve the problem. Okay. So what exactly we need to do? We need to create one uh, interface and we need to create one uh, concrete class and this concrete class is get called from my adapter class and adapter class is get called in the my client code. So whatever changes will done in my parsing class or this class is going to absolute in future or this will get replaced with a better parsing class, then my adapter class will get adapt new or a better parse class. So that is how it will solve the problem of the incompatibility. So as you can see on the your screen, I have better parser class in that I have four function in order to parse the XML file. Correct. So parse one and parse two and parsing one and parsing two. So over here, what I will do, I will call parse one and parse two in parse function in adapter class and parsing one and parsing two will be get called in the parsing function of the adapter class so that my client code will not impact. Okay, so this is how it will solve the problem of the incompatibility and this is what the adapter design pattern. I hope you have understood what exactly the adapter design pattern is. Now let's go for the advantage and disadvantage of the adapter design pattern. So as you can see on the your screen, this is the advantage and disadvantage. So guys, let's see the practical example of the adapter design pattern. Over here, we will take example of the parsing the XML. 
okay so this is the example which we are going to discuss in this session okay so let's begin but before that i would like to tell that whatever coding i am going to do in my program that i will explain in the form of diagram and then later on i will jump on to the code okay so let's begin with the our today's session so guys as you can see on the screen this is how my program will look like and this is how i am going to do the coding okay so what i will do i will create two interface i parser and i better parser after that i will create two concrete classes c parser and better parser inside this concrete classes i will implement this function okay inside this i will implement this functions okay after that i will have one adapter class which will contain the those function or uh, those kind of function which will accommodate the future changes as well or we have to uh, broadly categorize and we have to make a such a function which will uh, broadly cover all the kind of functionality in our case let's say for example we have today this function so one function will come over here and another function will come over here if this functionality will get changed or better parser uh, class is implemented then you can see over here this function will accommodate over here and this function this two function will accommodate over here so in a such a way you have to write this adapter class okay guys so this is how you need to write the adapter class now moving on to the next section which is nothing but your main function in that what i will do i will create the better parser object and after that create adapter object inside the adapter object i will pass the better parser object okay so this is what i will do over here in main function and later on i will call this function over here so this is how i am going to do the coding okay now let's go for the coding over there we will see how exactly you can write the program for the adapter design pattern so guys i have already written the program for the adapter design pattern so let's understand that program so for that what i need to do i need to open this file and i need to explain correct so as i discussed uh, i have created two interface over here you can see this one and this one after that what i have done i have created two classes concrete classes which is nothing but your i parser and you can see over here better parser okay and inside that i have implemented respective function you can see over here over here i have implemented this one so this is the common functionality which will i will not explain over here i am considering all these things you know okay and <clears throat> over here after that what i will do i will have one adapter class and inside that what i have i have two function you can see parser and parse two function and over here what i will do i will take the input as a better parser object and using that object what i will do i will call over here you can see i will call the parser function from the better parser class rather than the parser class okay so this is the thing you have to think and you have to make a, this uh, function in a such a way so that future changes will be accommodated over here okay so this is what the adapter design pattern is now moving on to the next section which is nothing but your client code you can see over here i have created the object of better parser class and that object i have passed over here to adapter object and now this pointer is pointing to the object of adapter class okay now using this pointer i can call this function so what i have done i have called this two function you can see over here now if i will call this function then what will happen internally it will call from the better parser class rather than the parse class okay now instead of this if i will pass over here third uh, some new classes or better to better parser uh, classes came then what i will do i will simply create over here better to better parser object and i will pass that and that will be ca get called over here okay so this is how you can think and this is how you can uh, write the program for the adapter design pattern so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the adapter design pattern is 
Now let me run this program and let me show you the output of this program. For that what I need to do, I need to compile this program. So in order to compile this program, what you need to do, you need to fire this command as you can see on the your screen. Okay, so let me run over here. So executable got created, you can see over here. Now let me run this executable so that you will understand. Okay, so you can see over here, better parser, first function, get called and after that two functions will get called first and second so this is how i indirectly called function from the better parser class okay so this is all about the adapter design pattern adapter design pattern is nothing but it will adopt which is not compatible to my client code or destination code okay so what it will do it will just compatible make a compatible to other site so this is nothing but your adapter design pattern. So guys, if this video helps you in any ways, then don't forget to share this video in any of the social media platform. Thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye-bye. Take care.